death 150 is getting a facelift for 2018 with a new front bumper, headlight and grille design. But the goods behind it are a lot more interesting. The base 3.5-liter V6 is being replaced with a 3.3, the 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6 and 5.0-liter V8 are upgraded, and there's a brand new 3.0-liter Power Stroke diesel in the mix. Ford hasn't made any claims on the new diesel's numbers yet besides the displacement. But the internet commenters have been begging for it, and in I guess about a year it will finally be in dealerships. Can't say if an actual relationship between those two things exists, but hey, it makes me feel good to imagine decision makers in our industry read the comments section here. It doesn't seem entirely clear if the F-150S diesel option will be marketed primarily as an efficiency play, like Ram 1500's Eco Diesel, or the heavy power option like it is in 3 quarter and 1 ton trucks. But the company has stated that the engine was developed in-house as opposed to some previous generation power stokes which were outsourced to international. As it stands Ford has power stroke diesels on both ends of that scale the frugal 3.2 liter in the transit van and the mighty 6.7 liter Master in the super duty f250 and its larger brothers i imagine details on this will come to light over the course of the north american international auto show this week right now the only player in half ton diesel trucks is ram which offers its 3.0 Eco Diesel with 240 horsepower and 420 pounds to foot of torque. It also claims to be capable of 29 miles per gallon on the highway, a stat I'm willing to bet Ford has its eyes on beating. GM's closest equivalent would be the mid-sized Colorado, which is available with a 2.8-liter Duramax diesel rated to 181 horsepower and 369 pounds to foot of torque. But that's not particularly relevant since the F-150 is a weight class up. Watch this space over the course of the week as we learn more about the F-150's revisions and power plants as information comes out from Detroit.